Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be talking about Shepherd's Cube parody. Now I got a comment on my Shepherd's Cube tutorial saying that somebody was solving their uh, cube and they got to a situation where they had two corners at the very end that were um, switched. Um, it was oriented correctly but the permutation wasn't correct. And on normal 3x3 that doesn't happen because you know it, it just doesn't but on a shepherd's cube it can happen and I'm gonna go over why that happens and how to fix it right now so just so you know this will work on any size shepherd's cube whether it's a 3x3, 4x4, 5x5 whatever it is this will work um, so I have my shepherd's cube and I have a regular 3x3 and I'm gonna be using the 3x3 to explain the method um, but basically the reason this happens is because all the corners on a shepherd's cube diagonal are the same so this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece, they're all the same piece. They're just oriented differently. But if you kind of shuffle the pieces around, you'll notice that they are indeed the same. The only two that these don't apply to are the perfect orientated pieces, which is this one, for example, which it doesn't matter how many, how you turn it, the piece is oriented 100% of the time. And I already went over that in the tutorial. So what you need to do is you need to find that perfect piece and whatever your top layer is you're gonna find the perfect piece and to the right and to the left of that perfect piece those two pieces are gonna be identical and I've simulated that scenario on my Rubik's Cube here the two black pieces are identical now obviously I can't do that on a regular 3x3 so I just left them black so there's no confusion but I want you to pretend that the one with the CubeSmith logo is the perfect orientation piece and the two identical ones are the two black ones over here now the situation when relating to the Shepherd's Cube is we're having this problem one of these two pieces on this top layer here is switched with one of these two pieces that are identical. So for the sake of argument, we're just going to say that this is the scenario that you have. If it's not, don't worry about it. You can fix it later. Um, so what's going to happen is you're going to have the two identical pieces right next to each other, and you're going to have this other piece off to the side. Now, one of these pieces is going to be oriented correctly. The one that's next to the perfect orientated piece, which is that one, is going to be solved, so it's going to look like it's perfect, and it's going to look as if the only two pieces that are mixed up are these two. But that's not actually the case. The case is that all three of these are incorrect. And since all three of them are incorrect, all you have to do is a really simple um, corner switcher. Now, if you don't know the corner switchers, I'll write the algorithms in the sidebar, or actually the underbar now. It's not in the side anymore. Um, but basically, here's what you're going to do. You're going to take the two identical pieces and put them on the side. So whether that be the right or the left, whichever piece has the perfect um, orientated piece, that piece cannot be moved. So this, for example, since these are on the left, opposite of the perfect piece, we're going to do the left version of the corner switcher, which I will put um, on the underbar. Like so. Now you'll notice that that piece that was messed up over here is now permuted correctly and these two pieces are now in their correct spots as well and I haven't messed up this piece so that's basically all you have to do now the other scenario is that these are the two pieces that are mis mixed up so you, again you're gonna take the perfect orientated piece keep it in the front and put the pair on the side in this case the pairs on the right side so we're gonna do that on the right side and again I'll put this algorithm in the underbar. So these two are now permuted correctly and the piece that was messed up is now put in its correct spot which should be opposite of the perfect orientated piece. So now that we know how to do that on the regular 3x3 let's apply this to the shepherd's cube. I've marked the two pieces with this pink purple whatever color you want to say the sticky right there there's the perfect orientation piece and we're just gonna assume for the sake of um, this example that we're going to do the second one. We're going to do the one that was on the right. So here we go. This is the scenario that you're going to get. The orientated piece is going to be perfect and these three pieces are going to be unoriented. Now again, you'll notice that this one looks like it's oriented and permuted correctly, but it's not. It actually is supposed to be back here. So we're just going to do the simple corner switcher. Again, these two are the ones that are identical. Now you're going to have to just look at the puzzle. You're not going to have these little stickies to give it away. So, I mean, make sure that you're doing the right one. But take the two that are identical, put them on the side that's opposite of the perfect orientated piece. And this case is on the right, so we're going to do the right version. 
It's just a basic corner switcher. And now you're going to notice that the piece that was unoriented is now, uh, well, the piece that was un that was not permuted correctly is now permuted correctly. And these two are also permuted correctly. They're just unoriented. So now that they're unoriented, all you have to do is orient them, which is actually really easy. You're going to use the 3 by 3 orientation method. So I'm going to do this one first. And that one's not oriented. I'm going to go to the back one now. And that one is still not oriented, so I need to do it some more. There we go. Now it's oriented correctly. And ignore the bottom because that's confusing. Now, the bottom may or may not be mixed up at this point. It probably won't be. So um, you should be able to return it to normal. As you see, this cube is now solved. But if it is messed up for whatever reason, just repeat the algorithm over and over again using the perfect orientated piece because, again, doesn't matter how you turn it, it's always going to be oriented. Keep doing that until the bottom solves itself. And by bottom, I mean the bottom two layers. And that's basically how you switch two corners on a shepherd's cube. You can't do it on a normal cube, but on a shepherd's cube, since you have identical pieces, you can do it. So I hope that... Um, this video and this explanation has helped um, whoever has that problem or who has had that problem or whoever will have that in the future. Um, that's how you switch two corners on a shepherd's cube. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Um, if you like my video, please check out my channel. Look at some of my other content. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to post a comment below. And uh, that's it. Have a good day and I'll see you guys next time.